Just checking to make sure it's recording. Hey, 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 this is Rosa Rubio Giotto. How are you? I'm from RCG Creations. How's you going? Today is, did you know? And what is a crop? I know a lot of new people who are new to the crafting world. Um, a crop can mean many, many things. Uh, basically, it's a gathering of people. And because of COVID, everybody's doing the social distance, wearing their mask. I don't have my mask on right now, but I'm here alone. Nobody's here. Okay, and uh, you meet either at someone's house or you meet in a facility. A lot of people rent a conference room in a hotel. Uh, those who do that, there is a fee because they have the host has to pay for the room. So all the people that come pitch in for whatever that price is. And most of, the, most of them do a set price all the time. They have a schedule for the entire year, however many times they're gonna meet, whatever. And then they either do it for a few hours or they do it for the whole day two or three days and it just varies up to the host and the facility and then the group okay and there's a ton of face group pages out there there's a lot of youtubers out there that host or are participants in crops and the crop came from the terminology back when uh, scrapbooking became easy what you did is you would take your photo and then you would cut it out which means you cropped it to fit your page on your album so there's where the terminology crop came from so it just kind of is one of those things that just kind of just sticks and so it stuck with it with it and so from then ever since then it's just be called crops some people call them craft days um, but what's nice about it in most situations of course every crop is different is it depends on what you can and can't bring but basically what it boils down to is somebody which is a host provides the facility uh, provides all the uh, what's in there that you're able to use and what you're not using they always tell you everything and then everybody brings their own project of what they were they want to fish there's scrapbookers there's card makers wreath makers uh, woodworkers sheet metal workers when you're working on a small project nothing big because it depends on the facility if it's pretty well uh, uh, that apply to air circulation there's a word for that I forget what it is and then also how many outlets that everybody uses and I'm gonna do a quick little scan I'm not gonna show every single table because a lot of these people here today are scrapbookers that they've got private photos and I don't want to show them but this is my area right here so I have a eight-foot table and this is our facility here at our our HOA clubhouse that we're allowed to use and I host once a month and I put all mine because I do travel to three or four crops a month. I keep these 12 by 12 plastic cases and I get different kind, whatever's on sale. And then this is what I use at home and I carry because I just do double duty. And as you can see there, I label them so I know these are nothing but birthday stamps and dies and stencils. Here, um, that's a card that I was given to me from another swap. Here's some ink. Here is... So my uh, distress ink oxides and regular distress ink so I keep everything here this is all my distress my two sets of brushes my bristle brushes I even have embossing powder because I have some embossing ink I haven't done it yet with the distress but I didn't know a lot of people knew that and then I also carry my minis whoops in my little distress tins uh, so they're easy compact and I've just color coded them okay and I have my two sets of brushes I have my little towel I have my one set for my distress oxides one for my regular distress my distress refresher my embossing powder so when I want to emboss I can and I also have a spray bottle of my stamp cleaner which I keep in a baggie just in case because you just never know and this is liquid and I don't want it to spill everywhere but that is this case and then I have at home a cart that holds six or eight excuse me eight of these trays so they just go in there so I have one for my distress one for my regular ink and then one for like embossing um, plates some template plates and you put it whatever it is and what I do is when I when, when I know what I'm going to take and I always prepare a few days before the crop of what I want to projects I want to complete that that one day or those few hours or those two or three days and then that's how I know which of these cases to bring today was yesterday and today and I was I'm making birthday cards and I'm also doing some 
cards for the swaps that I have coming up too. And then this is just a little tray I got at the, I think it was Walmart. And it's just to give me an extra space. And then I just my setup. This is where I keep my, all my scrap. I'm sure a lot of you have heard most of my videos. See how it's labeled? And that's nothing but scraps there. These are my long plates for my cuddle bug. So I can do my regular and my long plates. This is my little travel glass media mat. My stamparatus, which a lot of you see me use. My stamping scrub. And see how I was telling you this is a perfect spot. You could put pressure here and not put any pressure on the, uh, whatever you call these little things here. So you don't, because they could, this could break because this is some kind, some kind of acrylic, but it's kind of a hard acrylic. And what's nice, I want to show you, a lot of people don't do that. But on the, under my table, I have all my, con my containers that I carry everything in. My power cord source, okay. There's my little baby mini, mini Cricut, They're one of the original Cricuts, the little tiny one. I use that as a travel. Now you can see my bag is all wore out, but that little baby is over 20 years old. So my mats are in there, all my tips, all my markers that go with the Cricut, all my blades, everything goes in there. And here's my little cart. And I carry a cart because I use this as an extra table space to hold extra things that I use throughout my crop that I'm going to be using throughout the day. And this is just a bag that I had. It carries nothing but my markers. Here's all my Copics. You know, you, you you do what you need to do. And let me just show you a quick little scan. My neighbor over here, uh, she's working on puzzles. There's some other tables down there. Some are six foot tables, some are eight foot tables. But I just want to give you a little pan. There's a, down there in the corners where the chairs are kept. I don't want to get too close to anybody because again, like I said, I want to be private. Down in the corner there, we have items that everybody brings, if they want to, it's totally optional, to give away, and we open it to the HOA, so when I post pictures of it, so anybody in the HOA can come by, take a look. If they want it, they take it home with them. Then down there is our for sale items, so if anybody wants to sell something, whatever, and it does not have to be craft-related, okay? This is just something that I chose to do for the group. Because uh, there's a group, well, I think we're up to almost 40, almost 50 people in our group. But we have on the average about 15, about 8 to 15 regulars that come every single month because I host it once a month. And then there's some, there's some empty tables. Those two ladies are supposed to be here today. And there's two extra tables from people, you know. People say they're going to come. Life happens. They don't come. They're not able to show. So those are two tables for no show. So there's... If, and I post on my Facebook page, hey, we have two extra tables if anybody wants to join us. So that way two extra people can just show up because they'll have a table. And I do ask them to post on the Facebook page so I know who's coming so we can make sure we have enough tables for everybody. And you see how everybody has their little carts and their, their extra extension cords so they can do whatever it is that they're working on. And then that's how it's all set up. But anyway, that is what is a crop. And I thank you so much for watching. Let me see if I can get this at arm reach. Y'all have a great day. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit like, share, and comment. And don't forget the subscribe button. Take care. Bye-bye. Sorry, I'm all wobbly there.